You got a drop of water. It's, it's going to magnify show. it. Yeah, it's going to show what's in that pond water. It looks like germs and bacteria. It looks like the inside of a human body. That's oh really gross. Oh my gosh, oh. look what's swimming around in that water. Are you guys listening to me? Yeah, no. Oh, just, just keep listening. Antony Van Leeuwenhoek. What kind of name is Leeuwenhoek? A weird one. Weird one, he's Dutchman. I'm a Dutchman, did you know that? Nope. Well, anyway. The father of modern microbiology and microscopy. What's microscopy? What is microscopy? That's a good question. I thought we'd do something to honor the father of microscopy. Is that right? I have, I have, what have you got in your hands? You've got a magnifying glass. Yeah, that's what it is. What do you have in your hand? A glass cylinder, but the top is rounded. The top is rounded. It's a dragon I, eyeball. It's, it's a, dragon a dragon eyeball. eyeball. No, that's not what that is. Is that a dragon eyeball? That actually is a lens. And you see when I put it on the paper? I use this once in a while. What is it doing? Oh, that gets a lot bigger. People, especially guys my age, will have that on their desk if they want to magnify something, especially a map or something. They can kind of slide that around because it's got a lens, right? I want to show you how to make one of those. Out of what? Well, what do you think you'd need to make something like this? Mm, well, this one's made out of plastic, so plastic. plastic. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of tightwad. I'm kind of cheap, you know. I can't afford to give you one. So we're going to make, matter of fact, I'm going to make a very small one of these. Just the same way that Anton did it. And Tony, I don't know how you say his name, from the Leeuwenhoek. Leeuwenhoek. In about 16, he was born in 1620, I think, so a long time ago. We're going to do what he did because he didn't have this. He didn't have a fancy lens that he bought out of a catalog and he didn't have a hand lens like that. He made his own. And guess what he made it out of? What? Right here. Water? He made it out of water. Seems seem possible, but we're going to do that. Well, I'll show you how it works. Clear plastic wrap. Clear plastic, plastic wrap. wrap. You need some clear plastic wrap, and I've got some... Masking tape. Tape. And this is called a pipette. 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 I don't there's how many P's in pipette. I've got to look that up. P-I-P-P-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, I think. So yeah, something like that. Three P's. And you notice what I did with the tape. I put, put some tape. The edge. I put it around the edge just to keep it from... That stuff sticks to itself, right? Lay that right here on the paper. Okay. It doesn't magnify. It doesn't change. It doesn't magnify. Now we're going to make that dome shape. Try to see if you can do one drop. Do you know what they call this thing? A lens? Yeah, it's called a water drop. Magnifying glass. There you go. Oh, that, that magnifies a lot. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that one. First thing. So what's the first thing I'm bringing over to the pile? It's a box with a piece of paper. Very good. What in the world is that? It is a piece of metal yeah. with a syringe strapped to it. Also got... Some Big dropper. Big puppet. Well, that's a big yeah, puppet. And I've got what? Some water. It Some looks water. dirty. It looks dirty. A little laser pointer. Puts a spot on there. Mm -hmm. And I've got a clothespin on there just so that I can hold the button down. Well, I made yeah, a little I stand. We made a little stand yeah. right there, right? Yes. Ah, so that's also Would you have stand. to use nuts? No. no. I, could use, I could use other things. So I'm to figure out a way to get that laser pointer to, you know, so it doesn't move. Yeah. You've got a laser pointer? Some way to hold it. And if I push down, you guys are going to do this a little bit. If I would push down on that syringe, I want you to watch the end of that no, little nozzle right there. What's coming out? Water. Oh, I would do too much. Oh, oh what, what, what is it right there now? It's a drop of water. You got a drop of water. And then are you going to turn on the laser pointer? I'm going to turn on the laser pointer. It's, it's going to magnify show. it. Yeah, it's going to show what's in that pond water. It looks like germs and bacteria. It looks like the inside of a human body. That's oh, really gross. Oh my gosh, look what's swimming around in that water. Ooh. I hope I never have to drink pond water. I don't There's know. bacteria and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what stuff. those things are. Bugs? That's really cool yeah, though. They're called protozoa. So what's going on here? It's projecting it onto the paper so yeah. that it's easier for you to see. Have you ever seen somebody focus a microscope? You know, turn a little knob to focus it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we can focus this by moving this in. See how I'm focusing that? Yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? What's amazing is these guys are living in what? Water. How much water? Just, Just a teeny tiny drop. Just a drop. How many creatures are there inside that pond? Oh, oh. millions. Yeah, yeah millions. a lot. Oh, yeah, like billions and billions, like on the planet Earth. We made a, what's this thing called? A water drop magnifying glass. A water drop magnifier. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One little drop of water out of the pond. There you go. Well, okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. You did great. I guess what, what, what would be the kind thing to do? Kill them all. 
Kill them all. <laughs> That'd be the opposite of nice. How about if I put them back in the jar with their friends? And then put them back in the pond. We'll put them back in the pond. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You protozoas. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs>